Chapter 5, the first official exploration. Yes. Yes, I love this chapter. Up and Adam, it's morning. Ah, finally, we reached chapter 5. Um. So, yeah. Chapter 5, the first official exploration. Oh, boy. Er, uh, ahem. Everyone listen up, I have an important announcement to make. Far to the northeast, then further into its outermost reaches, there lies a place called Tree Shroud Forest. In Tree Shroud Forest, time has apparently stopped. Huh? What did you say? You're saying time stopped? Hey, hey, hey! Yes, that's correct. Time has come to a standstill in Tree Shroud Forest. The wind has stopped. The clouds are motionless. Dewdrops on leaves won't fall. They just hang there suspended. In Tree Shroud Forest, time itself has truly stopped. Time has stopped? But how could something this awful happen? It's unthinkable. Yes, the unthinkable has happened. Why has time stopped in Tree Shroud Forest? Well, it's because Tree Shroud Forest's time gear was stolen. What? The time gear was stolen? That's what made time stop, hey hey. I heard it was possible, but now it's really happened. I don't get it though, why would anyone take a time gear? Quite everyone. Officer Magnuson has already started an investigation. It's hard to believe that anyone would dare steal a time gear. But if one time gear can be stolen, the others may also be in danger. The officer has asked to be the officer asked to be notified immediately if we notice any suspicious characters. So keep that in mind. Let us know if you notice anything. That is all. Alright everyone, here's to another busy day of work. Well, that's ironic. We the we the players, we know about the thief because we saw Grovile at the first time here, but no one else knows that because that was not even a dream, that was just um That's for the audience to see. Oh you there. You two, come here. You've become quite good at your work. I'm impressed with your capture of Drowsy. That was very admirable. So, you all will finally be assigned a mission worthy of a proper exploration team. Really? Hooray! Let me see your wonder map. Treasure Town is here. And over here is where we would like you to investigate. See? There's a waterfall flowing here. By all appearances, it's just an ordinary waterfall. But we've received intelligence that the waterfall may conceal a secret. And that's where you come in. We want you lot to investigate the waterfall and determine what's there. That's all. Do you understand what this mission entails? Understood. Good. All right, I'll leave you all to thoroughly investigate the waterfall. Huh? What's wrong? You're shivering. Are you all right? Yes, I'm okay. It's just the anticipation that's making me nervous. Pikachu, you're crying. This will be the first time we get to do a real job as an exploration team. I'm feeling a little worked up. Okay, I feel like I'm going to burst from excitement. Let's do our best, Chris. Okay, so... Those five jobs we did yesterday sure got us a big haul of items. And we don't have much for the bronze rank. So even though we're the first place we're going now is officially the... Oh, Chris and Pikachu. Huh? What's Trimeco doing there? Hello, what's going on here? I just started an assembly here, today in fact. Assembly? Yes, for assembling your team. Have you ever considered adding members, Pikachu? Other members? Well sure, it'd be cool to add other members. If there were more than just the two of us, it sure would help when we explore dungeons. Okay, well then, you need to start recruiting new members. Oh, how do we start? I'll just ring the friendship bell for you. Team Legends, here goes. Hee ya. Chemeco rang the friendship bell. Now Team Legends has the power to recruit new members. Really? Yes, from now on while battling Pokemon in dungeons, you may earn respect from some of them. And those Pokemon will then ask to join Team Legends. Once you have recruited a Pokemon, you can bring it along with you on dungeon explorations. To bring a Pokemon along, visit my assembly. 
then choose which members should join your team for the exploration. I, uh, always see me when you want to assemble a team that includes recruits. Oh wow, thanks, Shemeko. Okay, so now we can recruit new Pokemon. Exciting. But as I was saying earlier, um, even though we're going to the waterfall today, I'm gonna ch still check the jobs for, for saving jobs for another time, so I can do as many as possible. Okay. Escort 150. Find the rebel hill side. Ooh, mystery reward. Find escape on this dummy. Escort the shoulder sword stance. I guess I'll take a Mount Bristle job or two, because they have the most reward. 50. 50, that's not enough. Hot claws. Okay, Drenz Bluff. Hmm. I'll take you, and I'll take you. And I'll take you. Okay, so already we have five jobs for Mount Bristle set for tomorrow. Maybe more if we find more, but wow. Wow, that's incredible. We are going to be ranking up in no time. Oh, the boulder's gone. What's going on? There are stairs here. There's something written on the sign. Huh? Spindus Cafe, a shop of hopes and dreams opening soon. Win big, it says. Looks like a new shop will be opening soon. But hopes and dreams? I wonder what kind of shop this will be. Let's come back after it's open and find out. Okay, no problem. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna sell all those orbs, don't need them. Let's see, I'm gonna sell them. You, you, you. Um. I'm gonna sell you, and not you. Um. I'm gonna save you. Yeah, that looks good. No, 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 no. I'm gonna sell you. 296. Not bad. Nope. Let's see what else I got. Let's see. I'm gonna take you three out. And you. No. No, yeah. No. I know what I'm saving you for. You... That's it. Am I forgetting something? Nope. So what do we buy? Nothing worth it. Then let's go put away what we don't need. Meaning we put away the blue gummy, the escape orb, and these two things. I save those for later. Okay, not bad. Not nice haul of money. Not bad. Let's go explore the waterfall. We're gonna be so busy. Okay. A new location. Secret waterfall. I mean, it's on the map. How is it a secret? So this is the waterfall that supposedly has a secret. Ooh, yeah. That water's coming down hard. Try getting close to the waterfall, Chris. It's true, this is in incredible. I can barely stay standing near this deluge. Wow. See, it's intense. If you were to fall under this waterfall, you'd probably be battered. I didn't think you would be pouring down this powerfully. Where should we even start looking?
Hmm. Something seems familiar. It's that dizziness I felt before. Oh? Whoa. Someone just jumped through the waterfall. It happened again. I saw something, but what did I just see? Huh, what's the matter, Chris? What, you had another vision? This time you saw lone Pokemon leap into this waterfall? And not only that, there's a hidden cave behind the waterfall? Hmm, but it looks like that water is coming down really heaven heavily. Imagine if there was actually a solid cliff wall behind that waterfall. Ouch! If we tried to jump through, we'd be pounded badly. So Chris, what do you think, Chris? Is there really something behind this waterfall? Are you really convinced that there's a cave there? Well, okay. I'm putting my faith in you, Chris. Yes, I totally believe in you, Chris. We are so gonna die. Yikes. No, okay, I gotta be brave now. If I get scared and fail to leap through at full speed, I'll be smushed no matter what I do. If I'm doing it, I have to do it without hesitating. Be brave, be the bravest ever. Ready? Let's go, Chris. Three, two, one, now. And we're dead. No? Okay. Lucky us, there was a cave after all. What is this? Yeah, it's a cave. You were right after all, Chris. Let's go explore. Let's see what secret it holds. Lucky us. Hmm. I wonder if we're gonna get Pokemon to recruit us this early. There's a small chance, of course. I have no idea where I'm going. Wow, I went around when I could have just gone straight from the first room to here. This happens every time. Every single time. No big deal. Ooh, our first recruit, Tangela. Okay, now we have a Tangela, level 10, with Constrict in gray. No, can't use that, because then it won't be able to move. Sleep Powder and Absorb. Not bad. A grass type. Why is Tangle? Tangle is our first recruit in a lot of playthroughs. This isn't the first time. Although sometimes it's a Psyduck or something like that. Ooh, an orange gummy. Orange gummies are for fighting types, so that is for Riolu. While yellow is for Pikachu. But I'm saving them. Hmm. Ooh. Sometimes Grimer's our first recruit. Oh! <laughs> Speak of the devil. Okay. I accept. No nickname. Okay, so now we have a Grimer with Poison Gas, Pound, Harden, and Mud Slap. Okay, lucky us. We got a Grimer and a Tangle. Team Legends is growing. Hopefully we'll get some water types. Maybe a low tad or a side, a side up. Ooh, or a polywag. That's our first one sometimes. Wow, what is happening? Will you accept polywag as a member? Yes. But the team is full. Uh, I'll send Tangela back. Okay, level 9. Water sport, useless. Bubble hypnosis, okay. We'll train you up. Wow, we're so lucky. Ooh, a surf skip. Wow, you're strong.
There's the stairs. I wonder what's in this cave. To think we are the first people to ever find this cave. Hmm. Ain't that exciting, like... Because it's behind a waterfall. There's the stairs. Ooh, a special band. Pikachu, you can hold that. Gotta eat so we don't go hungry. Okay, we got plenty of space. Where's the stairs? Not here. That's for sure. Um, don't worry. We're almost done exploring this floor. There we go. Ooh, a whooper. Yikes. Whoa! No way! Oh yeah, I'm not happy about that. Just wasted another reviver seed. Ah, I hate it when that happens. So meaningless. Ooh. A sleep seed and another sleep seed. Barbage. Oh, join our team, okay. Yes, you can replace Poliwag for now. Level 12, nice. That's he's stronger than us. Mud slap, mud sport, water sport, water gun. Okay. Not bad. Our team's coming together. Power band, okay. Good thing to have an extra, just in case. Decoy orb. Constricted. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Oh, come on. Stop with that. Oh, level up. Oh, that's grammar. How big is this cave? At least we got money. Oh. Hmm. Look at that, Chris. Look at all the gems sparkling. Whoa, look over there. It's a gigantic gem. That thing is as big as us. I've never seen a gem this huge. This is an incredible treasure. Everyone will be amazed if we take this back. Oh yeah, they will. They will. Pikachu tried to grab the giant gem. Nope, it's not budging. It's really stuck tight. Can you give it a try, Chris? Chris took over, tried to pull out the gigantic gem. Whoa. This is really stuck. It won't budge. Nope, no good. I mean, there's plenty of little ones we could take advantage of, but you couldn't move it either, Chris. We can't just give up. If we try hard enough, we'll probably get some kind of result. I'm gonna give it another go, Chris. Pikachu tried to pull out the gigantic gem again. Ah. Hmm, it's not budging one bit. Huh? Oh no. Ah, it's happening again. It's... What's happening? <gasps> that was... That looked like a trap. It's like this place is designed to take out anyone who intrudes. It's no good, I can't pull it out. 
Pikachu just happened to push the gigantic gem. No! That's the trigger. What's going on? It's a flood. And we're dead. Okay, when we're alive. Barely. What, where are we? Hi, hi. Are you two okay? You plopped down from nowhere. Oh, you startled everyone. Where are we? This is the hot spring. Hot spring? Indeed, this is the hot spring. The hot spring works wonders on tired muscles and creaky joints. Many Pokemon visit here. Tell me, youngster, have you a map? A map? Oh, if you mean our wonder map, yes, we have one. Unfold it for me. There. We are here. This is the hot springs location. Oh, I see. The waterfall is here, so... Hey, check this out, Chris. The water carried us all the way over here. My goodness, it was the water that carried you all this way? What a long journey that must have been. Let the hot spring wash away your fatigue before you make the journey home. Good idea, we'll do that. Thanks, everyone. Ah, so... So basically pushing the gem triggers a flood, which washes you to the hot spring. Nice. Hmm, let me see if I've got this all straight. Behind the waterfall, there's a cave. In the deepest part of the cave, there's a gigantic gem. When you pushed on the gem, it triggered a trap of some kind. And surprisingly, you were flushed off to the distant hot spring. Is that the gist of your report? Yes, it's really disappointing that we couldn't bring the gem back. Oh, no, 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 emphatically no. This is a major discovery. Really? Undoubtedly. After all, the presence of the cave behind the waterfall. No one knew about that before now. Oh, I see. We made a discovery. When I had those dizzy spells... The shadow of that Pokemon I saw. That shape. I've seen that shape before. That shape? There's no mistaking it. That was Wigglytuff. Your waterfall discovery is just amazing. The guildmaster must be told. What? What's wrong, Chris? Huh? You're saying Wigglytuff may have been at that waterfall before? No, no, no. Emphatically, no. That's inconceivable. If that were so, the guildmaster wouldn't have ordered you to investigate the place, right? Hmm. However, since you insist, I will confirm it with the guildmaster. But why would they want to spoil their own discovery? How strange. I should be used to it by now. Those apprentices are yet another strange crew, aren't they? What was that chat hot? What? what? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Anyway, I'll go confirm what you told me with the guildmaster. Please wait here. So how did it go? When I asked the guildmaster, he mulled it over a bit. And then he said, Oh, memories, sweet memories. Yumta! Then he danced around a bit. And then he said, Yes, yes, when I think harp, maybe I did go there once. And that's just what the guildmaster said. To sum it up, it's just as Chris suspected. He has indeed already been to Waterfall Cave. Oh, okay. That's kind of disappointing. We really thought we discovered a new place. I wish Wigglytuff had told us right from the start. The guildmaster can be rather uh, erratic at times. Even I can't quite fathom what goes on in his head. Well, that's too bad for you. Nevertheless, I shall expect your best effort tomorrow. Oof. We thought we discovered a new place, but Wigglytuff just for been there, but forgot. He he's a bit forgetful, apparently. At least that that's what it seems. Th today was exhausting. I should get to sleep early. We went through a lot today, but you know what? It was incredibly fun for me. Sure, there was that huge letdown. 
but it was our first exploration. I thought I was going to explode from excitement and anticipation the whole time. It made me realize I made the right decision in joining an exploration team. One day I'm sure I'll solve the secret of my relic fragment. That's the dream I have. If it ever came true, I'd surely faint from sheer happiness. Haha. <laughs> but seriously, thanks. I can explore because of you, Chris. Yes. Be brave, be the bravest ever. I'm the biggest chicken around, and even I managed to work up the courage. And it was all because you were with me, Chris. Seriously, thanks. Oh yeah, you know, I was thinking. I noticed something about your dizzy spells, Chris. You always seem to be touching something when they happen. Come to think of it, Pikachu's right. When I heard Azrael scream... And that other time... Oops. And when we were exploring the waterfall cave... It's true. It was always after touching something. That's when I get those dizzy spells. When I touch something, I see something connected to it, right? There's one more thing. When we rescued Azrael, you had a vision of the future. But this time, you saw Wigglytuff going into the cave, right? So that means... This time, you saw an event that occurred in the past. That's true. In other words, Chris, if you touch something, you see its past or future. You must have that kind of special ability. This could be something totally incredible. You could use it in lots of ways. Not just for exploring either. The ability could be useful for many things. It's fantastic. Well, yes, I guess that's true. But that doesn't mean I always get a vision every time I touch something. It would be useful if I could have visions when I wanted, but... Hey, you two. The Guildmaster wants to see you right away. Guildmaster, I've brought you Team Legends. Uh, Guildmaster. Guildmaster? Hiya! Your team went through a lot today. Yes, a lot, lot. But don't worry, I'm keeping watch on your activities. I should tell you why I called you here. We're planning to mount a full expedition soon. An expedition? Yes, the guild will go explore someplace far away. It's much harder than exploring our nearby area. That's why we need to prepare for the big trip properly. We carefully choose which guild members go, go on the expedition. Really? Usually we would never ever consider rookies to be expedition members. But you two are working so very hard. That's why we're making a special exception this time. We decide to include you in the list of candidates for the expedition. Really? Now now, you haven't been chosen as expedition members yet. There's still time before we set out on the expedition. If you fail to do good work before then, you cannot expect to be selected for the expedition. I'm sure you two can do it. Try hard. Yes. An expedition, isn't it? Fantastic, Chris. My heart is pounding all of a sudden. Let's try our best and make sure we get picked for the expedition. Chapter 6. Team Skull.